Welcome back. This is another FMC overview of a Shrike Witches figure. Uh, it's from the same series, the Shrike Witches high quality figure series from Furio. Uh, you can pick them up for about 30 bucks. Uh, this one we have here is Mina from Shrike Witches. She's a German officer. She's the person who's in the command of the 501st. Basically, she outranks everybody else. All the other figures are going to see. And uh, she is quite interesting. As you may be able to tell, she's German. Uh, you can tell because she's got a ME-109, uh, is her striker unit. She's also carrying an MG-42, which is a distinctly German weapon, uh, known as Hitler's buzzsaw. Uh, pretty nasty piece of machinery uh, for a young girl to be carrying. we will get right into the build of this one. Uh, this one's got a pretty similar build to the, uh, so to the Sakamoto. It's pretty much uh, identical in sense of the way uh, everything is fastened. There is a more noticeable seam at the top of her head. That's different, um, but it's not uh, a deal breaker. The durability is similar. I'd actually say her striker unit is actually a little more solid. Uh, the wings don't flap as much. And because of the way she's not extending in all her different poses, I'd say it's actually slightly more durable than the other one. Again, the guns are prone to bending. Also, this one I got actually is a little bit deformed. So you might want to not get one that is like this. This is what I get for not looking at it before I buy it. <laughs> Traditional German Air Force colors, of course, they call it Karlsland instead of uh, Germany because, uh, you know, the Nazis were not nice people and the Japanese would rather forget that. Uh, instead of the German flying cross, you get this weird X symbol. So, you know, it's an ME 109. I kind of almost would think that they would have kept the Luftwaffe across, but they didn't, because uh, that's how this show rolls. As you can see, the striker unit is pretty much brightly colored. It's this gray and yellow on top of that green uh, German camo pattern, and that's what she has in the show. Uh, you don't see her actually fly as often as the other characters, because she does a lot of desk duty, and she's also the you know commander who typically doesn't go to the front. But uh, it's, it's, it looks exactly like what she has in the show. Everything, uh, underwear color, the jacket color. Her hair, though, is more red in the show. I will point that out. It's kind of brown for this figure. I don't know why they chose to do that, but it is a slightly different color. They still have her little officer tabs on the collar, so that was a nice feature they added. And the bow is there, and she's got the little buttons and whatnot for the different the jacket she has. She also, like all the witches, has a familiar. Hers is a gray fox, and she's got the fox ears and the fox tail. And if you saw the show, that's what she has. There's some nice fine detailing on her outer jacket, on the pockets, on the buttons, uh, with the ribbon, like I had said before. It looks really sharp. Uh, everything about the jacket's really cool. I will say, though, the undershirt, not quite as well detailed. It, it kind of is just kind of, the white paint's kind of blobbed on there. And mine actually had damage from glue or something that was either from the factory or from a, a previous uh, owner. And it kind of messed up, it up a little bit. So you got to watch for that kind of stuff before you buy it. Um, I did not look for that, and I regret not looking at it before I purchased it. But it's not a, you know, it, this is not typically a concern, but watch for it. Because it will mess up your figure. As for whether this matches the character, I think it for the most part does. Uh, she's got this nice, tall, stoic pose. She's standing upright, uh, very kind of authoritative, but not super imposing. Uh, this is kind of reflective of her character. I will say the face leaves a little bit to be desired. She's kind of got this neutral bland. I'm just looking at something kind of normal every day in the background. That's kind of what her facial expression says. But it's it's her. It's definitely her. As for the value of this figure, assuming I hadn't been an idiot and bought one that was kind of slightly damaged, uh, it's pretty good. It, this one actually ends up being a slightly cheaper than some of the other ones. She's not that popular of a character, but I like her. She was one of my favorite characters from the show. She's also the only uh, figure I could find of a character voiced by Anastasia Munoz. As for the price, as for the overall, it's good. It's it's pretty good. So if you're a fan of Strike Witches, if you like this character, if you uh, like the VA who voices her, you can't go wrong. It's pretty good. That concludes another FMC uh, figure overview. 
and we will catch you next time. We've got the whole cast of this. Glee pattern. Increasing our numbers should help. I doubt we'll be able to leave things as they are. With all due respect, I refuse to have armchair theories imposed upon us.